I have been shy for the most part of my life. But how did I manage to overcome my shyness and even start a YouTube channel in a matter of a few years? Hmm, that's a very interesting question. In today's video, I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to overcome shyness. My name is Nadesh and let's get right into the video. <laughs> pretend you are not shy. I'm sure you know this popular adage that goes, fake it until you make it. Let's take public speaking for example. Do you think all the people who speak in public are not shy? Don't you think they shake somehow when they are speaking? Don't you think within them they really feel nervous? They do, but they just pretend that they are okay. They just come and stand in front of a large crowd and speak and then everything seems so fine. I remember back in junior high school, I had to partake in a debate competition. I was so shy, I didn't know how I was going to do it. But when I mastered the courage to start speaking, within a few minutes or should I say seconds, everything seemed so normal, it wasn't so scary anymore. So I think when you start pretending like you are not shy, you start mastering the courage to do the things you're even afraid of doing, after a while, things will start normalizing. So fake it until you make it. The second tip to overcome shyness is to get out of your head. Pay attention to that small voice in your head. Every time you realize you are thinking negatively, you are downgrading your abilities, immediately dispute it. Start making positive confessions about yourself. Always tell yourself that you can do it. If you continue telling yourself that you are a shy person and there's no way you'll be able to overcome your shyness, then it's going to happen. But if you keep making positive confessions that you can do anything that you put your mind to despite the fact that you are shy, you know that one day you, you are definitely going to overcome it and then break your limits, break out of your shell and then do anything at all that you want to do. So pay attention to that small voice in your head. The next step to overcome your shyness is to start attending social gatherings or events or seminars, anything at all. Stop declining invitations. This doesn't mean that you have to honor every invitation, no. Be selective about the kind of events or gatherings you attend. If, if it's something you truly like and you think you really feel comfortable going, then definitely accept the invitation and go. The more you mingle with people, get to know them, you find out that we are all just the same and then everyone is just trying to, you know, do something better with their lives out there. So if you're a shy person, I will advise you to attend social gatherings and then get to communicate with people. Then the more you are talking to them, living in the moment, you're just going to forget about the fact that you're shy. And if you continue doing this, Within a matter of a few months or years, you'll be amazed at how much you've improved and then how much you've overcome your shyness, yes. The next step to apply in overcoming your shyness is to constantly remind yourself that not everyone is looking at you or judging you. This step has really helped me in my journey of overcoming my shyness. You see, everyone is so busy with their lives. Everyone is constantly thinking about how they are going to make it in life. So they just don't have that time to be thinking about someone, be staring and then judging the person. What is this person doing with her life? Why is this person wearing this clothes? Why is this person wearing this kind of shoe? Why, why are they walking in a certain way? Yes. No, no one is really interested in that. I know there are some people who can really do that, but there are few. A, a lot of people are really focused on their lives. Let's take this exercise. Next time you walk into maybe an office or a bank, after a few minutes of sitting down, just start looking around you. You see most people are busy on their phones doing something or talking to someone near them or even just patiently waiting for their names to be called out for them to go and meet the teller. So yes, not everyone is really staring at you or looking at you. People are really busy with their lives so you should constantly remind yourself that not everyone is looking at you or staring at you and then it's going to help you a little bit in overcoming your shyness. The next step in overcoming your shyness is to surround yourself with the right people. You have to be critical about the kind of people you hang out with. 
hang out with positive minded people people who love and truly care about you and then always bring out the best in you i mean if you're hanging out with the right people you wouldn't even get the time to think about the fact that you are shy and all that they help you encourage you so everything that you're doing you're courageous and then you're confident and then you know that you have people backing you and then you know you're going to succeed at whatever that you're doing so make sure you hang out with the right people to help you overcome your shyness okay guys if you're enjoying today's video and finding value in it please go ahead and smash the like button so hard that it turns blue and then also hit on the subscribe button down below to join this lovely community if you're not already part of this family and then also turn on the post notification button so that you won't miss out on any of the latest videos that i upload the next tip is to do things you genuinely love and you are passionate about if you truly love art and then you are drawing for someone, do you feel shy when you are doing it? No, you are so immersed in their drawing that you tend to forget about your surroundings. The same way if you enjoy soccer, your main aim is to score a goal and then win that match and not how people are looking at you and then talking behind your back. Another tip in overcoming your shyness is to face your fears. There is this adage by Molia which I truly love and I want to share with you today. It goes like this. The greater the obstacle, the more glory in overcoming it. Starting a YouTube channel was my biggest fear but when I started, I realized it wasn't so bad. The thing about overcoming your fear is that when you're done, you suddenly feel so courageous and confident to move on and then take down the next fear. If I've been able to start a YouTube channel, why can't I speak in public? Why can't I do this presentation? It's just like stacking things together. You just keep on moving to the next thing and then you keep on doing your best until you finally make it. The next step in overcoming your shyness is to find a reason why you want to stop being shy in the first place. Is being shy a bad thing? No. But I personally think being shy holds you back from achieving so many things in life. Let's take a few examples. You can say, I want to stop being shy because one day I want to become a salesperson. The next one can be like, I want to stop being shy because I want to be a great public speaker in the future and then I know the only way I can get there is to stop being shy. The list goes on and on. If you have a reason so strong, nothing can stop you from overcoming your shyness and then becoming the very best that you can. The next step in overcoming your shyness is to believe that you can. If you live your whole life believing that there's no way you're going to overcome your shyness, then it's going to happen. But if you believe that you are the only one who has the power to choose who you wish to become in life, then it's going to happen for you and things are going to change for the better. The last one on the list for today's video is to get started. You know, there are two things you can do after watching this video. The first thing is to go and apply everything you've learned here or some of the things you've learned here and then apply it to your life and then just watch things unfold. The second thing you can do is that after watching this video, you can decide not to do anything at all about it and then go back to your normal life. But then I don't want you to do that. I want you to apply these tips to your life because I know you watched this video because you wanted to overcome your shyness. So please make sure you apply, if not all, most of the tips in this video to become the very best that you can. Okay guys, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. As always, like, comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel and then also share this video to your friends and loved ones. Let them come and check out this channel for me. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me till the end. I love you guys so, so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!